Hello. Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. So, uh, my name is Alan Oop. Uh, what's your name? My name is Sean. Sean? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yes. you. Yes. I think it's my, first, it's my time now as an interviewee, and you are the interviewer. So, uh, I'll read the problem first. Yes. Yep. Okay. A uh, string of brackets is considered correctly matched if every opening bracket in the string can be paired up with a letter closing a bracket and vice versa, for instance. Okay, it's correctly matched. Or not, for instance. Okay. Correctly matched by having two closing brackets at the end. Okay, so you would return to. Given a string that consists of brackets, write a function bracket match that takes a bracket string as an input and returns the minimum number of brackets you would need to add to the input in order to make it correctly match it. Explain the correctness of your code and analyze its time and space complexities. So here, uh, one, zero. So basically, I think uh, the input will be a string or a string of uh, brackets. I think it's parentheses. <coughs> uh, some of them are closed and some of them are uh, open. I mean, left, mm -hmm. left and right. And what I should do is get the minimum number of uh, uh, minimum number of brackets to make them uh, matching. For example, here in the first uh, in the first input. Uh, the output would be one because I should uh, I should have another right bracket in the end. Uh, yep. The second one it's already matched, so the output will be zero. Uh, the third example uh, I should have in uh, uh, the left I should have a left bracket, I mean a mm -hmm. an open bracket, and also in the most right I should have a closed uh, bracket. That's why the minimum mm -hmm. number of uh, of brackets will be two. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that right? I mean, the, the yeah. description. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like uh, what you described is correct. Okay, uh, let me think for thirty seconds. Yeah, take time. Okay, I think to get. Uh, to know if there is uh, some brackets are matched, uh, I will use the data structure which is a stack uh, because when I see some uh, open bracket, so how I will know it's uh, it's already matched if the stack have, uh, I mean if the stack if I see uh, some open bracket, I will push it to the stack. When I see uh, uh, an open bracket, so in this uh, in this case they are already matched, so I will pop from stack. And the size of a stack will be zero in this case. And okay. Uh, I will try <coughs> to move over the string and do this. Uh, do what I said uh, to the stack. In the end, if the stack is, and in, in the end, I think I will return the stack is size, because there will be some uh, brackets in the stack uh, that they are not popped, uh, which means I should uh, it should have. Uh, I mean like. Uh, op, uh, some brackets that should match uh, the already uh, the, the bracket that's already in uh, the stack, uh, like here. Okay. For example, so the first example is. Uh, So uh, in the beginning the stack will be empty. So here when I see uh, when I see a close uh, close bracket, I will push it to the stack. So in the beginning I will have uh, the stack will have only one uh, one closed. When I see another closed, I will push it. Uh, so now I see one open. I will pop the 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 top from the stack. So now I will t I will pop this one. And now the size of the stack is one, so I will return one. 
and I think the same case here in the second example but the size will be zero and in the third case I will uh, trace the third case uh, okay okay uh, in the beginning I will push the first uh, the most left uh, bracket and then mm -hmm. I will see uh, an open bracket so I will pop this one and and mm -hmm. this third uh, element or the third bracket it's open yeah I should handle if it's open and uh, if they are not uh, I mean if uh, the stack is empty and there is uh, an I think I think I will have an, another variable to uh, to count the open brackets that are not uh, matched with something in the stack and in the end I will return the stack size and this counter because here okay. because here the first two uh, the first two brackets are already matched so oh, this second yep so I will remove them uh, and in the end I have here uh, open bracket it's it is mm -hmm. not matched uh, it's not matched with anything so I will I will uh, increase the counter of open brackets Uh, so now he it will be uh, it will equal one, and then I have closed the uh, closed bracket. I will push it to the stack. So I will in the end I will return the stack size which is one plus the open brackets which is one. Uh, so uh, it will be two in the end. So is that approach right? That sounds like a plausible approach that you've described. It sounds like it could get the job done for sure. Great. So, should I discuss the time complex and space complex right now, or after implementing the food? Why don't you implement it, uh, the code first? Okay. So. I think I lost for a second. Did you hear me? Or? Oh yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I will implement it first. Oh. Okay. Uh, in the beginning, I will import a library to use the stack. And here, okay. Uh, I will have a stack, <coughs> and uh, the stack is uh, the dot type of this stack will be char, and I will call this stack like brackets. So, yeah, uh, I will loop over the whole string which contains the uh, brackets. So if uh, if I find some closed bracket, I will push it to the stack. Uh, but firstly, I will uh, I will initialize okay. uh, I will make the variable that we talked about it before, which is uh, open brackets. Okay. So here, when I find uh, test of i is equal. If it's open bracket, uh, what I will do is push it to the stack. Mm -hmm. uh, what I will push is this. Mm. If it's open, else. Uh, if I find uh, an open bracket, I should check if the size, if, uh, if the stack have any have any brackets if it ha if it has so I will pop the top from it if not I will uh, I will increase the, uh, the this variable open brackets so if the st if stack is size okay uh, not equal zero uh, I will pop from it. Uh, if not, so that means uh, this bracket it will not be matched with anything, so I will count it. Uh, so in the end, I should return the 
size of the uh, the size of the stack and this uh, variable open brackets. Uh, okay. Uh, open. Uh, I think that's it. But let me uh, go through the code. I'm here. Uh, identify state stack, which is brackets. Initialize a variable. Open brackets. Log over the uh, the whole text. If it's closed, I push it to the stack. Else, I will see if uh, the size of the stack not equals zero. I will pop from it. Else, I will increase the pointer or increase the variable counter. In the end, I will return. Yeah, I think that's it. I will. Uh, should I run it now or? I. Uh, yeah, if you want to test it out, go ahead. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do that and then assess the time and space complexity, or if you want to, if you want to see it run first. Okay, let me run it. Okay. Okay. Test this. Okay, it's working successfully. Nice. Uh, perfect. I will good. Let me discuss the <coughs> time complexity and space complexity. Uh, mm -hmm. So regarding the space complexity, I'm using another uh, data structure, which is a stack. So the space complexity of this stack will be O of n. Uh, I mean, in the worst case, I will I will push all the elements of uh, the string into the stack. I mean, all the brackets it will be pushed into the stack. So the space complexity is O of n. Space. Over. So where n is the uh, length of the string, correct? Yeah, like uh, n is the size of the string. Okay. And uh, regarding, okay. regarding the time complexity, mm, I think it's also O of n because I'm looping over the string, the whole string, and I'm not doing any other loops or something. So it's also uh, O of n. So yeah, so you, it, you pass over each character in the string uh, one time. So yeah, and the ten characters seeing it each seeing each of them one time. That sounds right. Yeah, exactly. So the time complexity is O of n, and the space complexity is O of n. Uh, should I optimize this solution or? So. Can you think of a way where you may be able to accomplish this without the use of additional memory? Okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay. I think I can uh, get rid of this uh, this tag and use instead of it uh, like a variable. And every time I have a closed bracket, I will increase this variable. And regard this is uh, this this is a pushing uh, pushing into the stack. It will be uh, like increasing this variable. And pop from this stack, it will be in decreasing this variable. So okay. I think uh, yeah. In this way, the space complexity will be O of one. Okay. Sure. Okay. Do you want to try and code it up? Yeah, sure. Okay. So here I need to open. Uh, I didn't hear you mention. Uh, so without the stack being there, you reference the stack size directly. And I don't know if you had a plan in mind for using those variables to take place. You mentioned, I believe, the case of seeing a left friend or seeing a right friend, which handles two of the three cases you have right now in the loop. Um, however, I I don't know if you mentioned uh, how you'd handle the the third case. Uh, um, you mean here, the size? The right, yeah. So here, where where you're referencing the stack size. Here, I will comparing the the variable. Because the variable will, okay. yeah. Uh, 
will I call it close uh, brackets so uh, when I see close brackets I will increase this variable else I will compare this variable if it is not equal zero I will uh, decrease it mm, else I will increase open brackets and in the end I will uh, return uh, the value of this variable and plus open brackets I think that's it. Uh, should I check something before running the code? Uh, do you want to try and walk through a test case? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do the third one in the examples. Okay. So here, in the beginning, close. <coughs> okay, in the beginning I will see it close, uh, close bracket, so the close bracket variable, uh, its value will be 1. Uh, okay. And then I will see an uh, uh, I mean open bracket in the beginning, after that I will see an, uh, a close bracket. Uh, in this case, mm -hmm. uh, I will check if the close bracket is not equal to zero. Yeah, it's not equal to zero, so I will decrease it, so it will be equal to zero now. Uh, after that I will see open, uh, I will see close bracket, I mean in the, the third character, it's, an, uh, it's a close bracket. So, uh, I will go to the next F. F uh, the close brackets are not equal zero. No, it's equal zero. So I will increase the open brackets. So now open brackets will equal one. Uh, after that, in the end, I will see a, an open bracket. So in this case, I will increase close brackets. So in the end, I will return the close brackets value and open brackets value, which is one plus one, which is two. So that's it, I guess. Okay. Cool. Let me run the code. Yep. Great. So the space awesome. complexity is O of 1 now, and time complexity is O of n. Very nice. Great. So, um, I mean, do you have any feedback on my code now? Or yeah, uh, I, I'd say that was a really good uh, progression there. So introducing the stack was a smart uh, idea, you know, and handling it the way you did. And that was a fine solution with um, linear time and space complexity. And then also being able to solve and optimize for uh, space complexity without sacrificing any time complexity was uh, also good. So okay. that looks good. Now we will swap the rules. 